Hello everyone, today we will learn about iambic pentameter. What is iambic pentameter? Iambic pentameter is a meter form that uses unstressed and stressed syllables in five groups. It is most typically used in poetry. The most well-known meter for iambic poetry is pentameter, but there are others, dimeter, trimeter, tetrameter, and so on. The flow provided by this iambic meter was a favorite of William Shakespeare's in his plays and poems. Its aim, as complicated as it may appear, is relatively straightforward. Consider this. Iams have the same rhythm as a heartbeat. Da, dum, da, dum, da, dum. One unstressed, one stressed word. In iambic pentameter, each line consists of ten syllables. These ten syllables are made of five iams. An iam consists of two syllables, an unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable. Thus, each line written with iambic pentameter has five alternating pairs of unstressed and stressed syllables. Here is an example of iambic pentameter in William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. If music be the food of love, play on, give me excess of it, that, surfeiting, the appetite may sicken and so die. That strain again, it had a dying fall. Oh, it came over my ear, like the sweet sound. Many of you may find writing poems difficult. However, writing an iambic pentameter is considerably easier than using other rhyming schemes. This is because iambic pentameter is close to natural speech patterns. Writing an iambic pentameter only involves writing five alternating pairs of unstressed syllables and stressed syllables. You don't have to worry about the rhyming scheme at all. This is also commonly used in blank verse. Here are some helpful steps to guide you in writing an iambic pentameter. First, decide what your poem is going to be about. If you have a given topic, think about the specific things you want to write about in the poem. Then, write down a list of words such as nouns, verbs, adjectives, or adverbs that remind you about the topic and specific images related to the topic. Try to list down synonyms of the words you have already written down. This might later help you to recreate the rhyme scheme. Now that you have a rough idea of the content of the poem, write a rough draft of the poem. You don't have to worry about rhyme scheme. You can always write blank verse, which only has a regular meter, but try to have 10 syllables in each line. Reread the rough draft. Do the lines have an iambic pentameter? If the lines don't have the correct syllable pattern, five alternating unstressed and stressed syllables. Try using the synonyms you found earlier. You can also rearrange the sentence structure. Reading the words aloud is the best method to make sure that you have used the iambic pentameter. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Your support in the foremost will be greatly appreciated.